What's up, everybody? Welcome to another pep talk with Adam with P3. Um, today we're going to go over this guy. Um, this was a pepper that I grew. Um, it, the label is messed up. I don't really know what it is, but from the outcome of what people are saying based off how it looks and how it tastes, um, which we'll find out, um, but how they think it tastes, we're going with a caramel T-Rex pepper. Now, that could be wrong. If you think it's wrong, let me know in the comments. But uh, until then, uh, we're gonna go with it. Um, let's take a moment and go check out the plant itself and then we'll come back and try it out. Okay, so um, you've seen the pepper. Here's the plant. Um, originally, this was one of my unknowns. Um, I guess it kind of still is an unknown, um, but the label got messed up. Uh, none of the seeds that I know I planted were supposed to look like this. I'm okay with happy accidents. You can see it's loaded up. There's quite a few ripe ones in here, but they are all very mean looking. They've got a chocolatey caramel look. They have crazy shaped um, pods. Most of them have a little stinger on them. There you go. So, not quite chocolate. I'm gonna go with caramel. But let's get back to the pepper and we'll try it out. All right, so that was the plant. Uh, you can see it's it's very, uh, it grows a lot of peppers and it's it's pretty good size um, the pods are really heavy so without the support of the cage uh, I have a feeling that we'd have a lot of broken branches but let's get into it I'm not gonna wait any longer um, I brought a drink for this one because I have a feeling this is gonna be hot I have cut one open and seeded it but I have not tried it yet so not really looking forward to it because if it is a T-Rex. Um, that is a Bootla mixed with a Seven Pot Dougla. Both very hot peppers. And I'm gonna tell you what, I grew a chocolate Bootla two years ago and in my opinion it was hotter than the Reaper and I'm sure people are going to say no, but it's got so much oil in there and I, apparently that's where my body decides that it wants to stop because uh, I couldn't control how my face is, <laughs> my face is doing things. So um, I think we're going to go with this one because it is, I'm sure you probably can't focus on this, but uh, look how bumpy it is. I was telling somebody it looks kind of like if you mixed like a scorpion pepper with a Peter Piper pepper because <laughs> I have a lot of these uh, uh, questionable looks to them and uh, actually I think I'm gonna do this one it's got more of the caramel look to it I'm gonna push all these aside and uh, I'm gonna let you guys know right now I'm gonna do a giveaway with these because even if I don't know what they are for sure they are awesome looking and I have a feeling they're gonna taste really good um, if not they're gonna melt my face either way but uh, we're gonna go with uh, hashtag caramel t-rex um, we're going to go uh, ar arsenic uh, element style. Um, I like how he does it. It makes it easier to choose with the comment picker. And uh, I'll have people comment on it. And if you uh, comment, like, and subscribe, I will put your stuff into the, uh, the comment picker. And whoever gets it, I'll send some seeds out. Cool. All right. Let's get into it. Ugh. But I brought these out for a reason. I have a feeling this one's gonna be hot. So let's get out some gloves. The only gloves I have available are small. So that kind of sucks. But ooh, let's see the most interesting cut with this. I'm gonna try to cut it right down the middle and get as many ridges and bumps as I possibly can. I can tell you right now, this has got so much oil. It's dripping off the knife. I don't know if you can see it. 
I think you can. This knife is completely coated. I'm definitely not gonna do this with my gloves, yikes. Look at that. I gotta tell you right now, just from here, and I haven't put it up to the nose, Kingstar style, uh, it smells spicy. It smells real spicy, but it's hard to tell with all the ridges. It's got a medium size edging, a huge placenta. I have a feeling that's what, where all this oil come, is coming from, but I mean, there's, there's a lot, a lot of oil. I mean, there's like a little pocket of oil on this one, but uh, I'm not gonna just eat the stinger because I know that doesn't have as much heat as the rest of it. I'm gonna cut off this little lobe right here, I think. And I am not gonna eat the whole thing, so if that's what you're gonna look for, you gotta like it. Oof. Ooh, there's so much oil in there. All right, so. You know, I've seen people do this whole hand behind the pepper thing to get the focus, but apparently I don't know how to do it. But that's the size I'm gonna eat right there. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> all right you saw the size of the the pepper that i just <laughs> ate it's spicy good god. <clears throat> god so um it does have the floral to it but not in a horrible way i'm not typically a floral person but oof <sighs> It doesn't help that it's like 100 degrees outside, um, but uh, these guys are spicy, and that was just the edge not up next to the placenta, so I have no doubt that these are up there, um, probably past Ghost and into the crazy hot region, because uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a uh, edge of the tongue, back of the throat getter, and that's that's good for me. <laughs> but uh, there you go, uh, caramel T Rex. So we're going with. Um, if you want seeds, don't forget to put the hashtag uh, caramel T Rex. Um, I'll put it in the comments so that you guys can see how I'm, I'm writing it out. And then uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully one of you guys can get some of these seeds because uh, I've had a lot of people comment on how cool it looks. It's super productive. Oh, look at that one. This one's like a dark red brown. Goodness. Um, and I'm going to seed all these up, dry them out, and then uh, whoever wins, I'll send them out. All right? Have a good one, guys.